So in this one, what we're going to do is just go ahead and add some more cameras to the scene for the different views. So we have a top camera in the scene already. We're just going to add a front camera, a back camera, a left and a right camera. OK, so let's get started. So let's go ahead and add some more cameras to the scene. So I'm going to select this one. And first off, if I come over to the outliner, I'm going to rename this to camera top view press enter and I'm just going to come around here into the scene and take a look at what we have. I suppose the handiest thing to do really is just make a copy of this. So I'm going to press shift D and just right click and I need to rotate this on the X by 90. So I'm just going to click in here, type in 90. This is going to be the front camera. So I can actually rename this over here again to camera front view and press enter. And just to make this camera active, if I press control zero, once it's selected, It'll snap me into that view. So what I'm going to do is just come over to the measure it add on and just show the dimensions so I can see it when I move this camera. So what I want to do is just move the camera down on the Z axis. So I'm going to press G and Z and just line this up with the dimension down here. So maybe something like this and left click. So that's lined up with the top view camera on the Y axis. So if I just press and hold the middle mouse button, okay, they're lined up. Because it's front, I might just drag it back. It won't have any effect on it. It's controlled by the scale over here. The orthographic scale doesn't change. Okay, so that's not looking too bad. So that's my front camera. So what I want to do is make a copy of this one and rotate it to the back. So I'm going to select our plane and press Shift S, cursor to selected. I'm going to switch the pivot point to the 3D cursor. And if I select the camera, press Shift D. It's going to right click. I can press R, Z, and 180. And I can also name this now to back view and press enter. And with this one selected, I'm just going to press Control zero and snap into this. Okay, it's slightly off alignment, so I'm going to press zero. And if I select this camera, what I need to do is copy the X, so Control C, and just Control V in there. So they're lined up on that axis. Okay. So the next thing to do then is create a camera for the ends. So we want an end elevation. So I'm going to press Shift D, right click. So I'm going to rotate this to 90 on the Z. And this time what I might do is select this camera, Shift S and cursor to select it. Select this one and just place it at that 3D cursor. So Shift S and selection to cursor offset. Okay, now I can just move this into position. I'm actually going to press the period key and just bring back my medium point and just drag this down. What I can do, copy the Z location from this one. So if I click in here, control C and select this camera and control V, that will be on the same Z axis. So I'm going to press control zero to snap into that and that should be fine. So I'm going to come back around here and I need to make a copy. So shift D, just right click. So shift S, selection to cursor offset. And for the Z, I'm just going to type in 270 and I can drag this back. And again, for the Z location, I can copy this. So control C and control V. Okay, so I need to rename this one. So if I press three, this is my right side. So if I select this camera here, I can rename this to right view and press enter and the same for this one. So this is going to be my left. So double click and press enter. Okay, so we need to really move these to another layer. I'm just going to select this one and drag it back slightly. Okay, we won't need them for a while. So what I'm going to do is come over to the layers tab. I'm just going to shift select all of these cameras. And now I'm just going to move them to maybe layer 15 and just rename this to cameras. And that's going to do it for this one.